How's it going everybody? JP here and this is another weekly horror news video. Hope you guys enjoy and let's get right to the news. At one point in time, Ben Affleck expressed interest in directing an adaptation of a Stephen King novel called The Stand, um, which I believe is would make it a remake because I'm pretty sure there's already a version of The Stand, which I've actually never seen. I think it's a miniseries. Um, always been really interested to see it. You know, the story sounded great, so I'll definitely get on that sooner or later. Love all the Stephen King stuff out there. Um, but anyway, as we all know, because the internet has exploded over this, Ben Affleck is the new Batman in the new Batman Superman film, so he is no longer attached to the Stand remake adaptation thing. Uh, Warner Brothers has went and hired a new writer and director who is actually the same guy. His name is Scott Cooper. I have no idea what else he's done. I'm unfamiliar with him. Um, but he's going to be writing and directing the upcoming Stand film. And um, originally it was going to be like a multi-movie thing because the book was so large um, that they was going to kind of split it up into multiple movies there's no word if they're still doing that or if it's going to be a miniseries or if it's going to be you know one movie um, you know it kind of seems like they're just kind of moving real slow with it right now so uh, it'll probably be a while before we see any like official movement on that you know especially if they plan on rewriting the script that they already had Todd McFarlane was interviewed about a upcoming Spawn remake slash reboot thing he went on to say a few things such as you know he's writing the script uh, he's been also very busy trying to get the script done uh, the producers really want him to get it done by 2014 um, so they could start shooting during 2014, maybe a 2015 release. He said it's not going to be a huge budget film, but it, it, it will be uh, more of like a horror film, which sounds great to me because the subject material totally is horror. Um, and, uh, you know, at least, you know, to my knowledge, it is. I'm not a huge Spawn fan or anything, but uh, it, it seems very, very dark, and I would love for it to be um, more of a uh, horror film than a superhero type film. And he, I believe he even goes on to say that in the article. Um, he also says, you know, that there's some big names that uh, might be attached to it. Um, so it looks like this Spawn remake thing is actually happening, which I don't think is such a bad idea because... Um, you know, I, I, I like the first film from what I remember about it, um, but it just, I, I remember thinking it could have been a lot better, and um, with, uh, you know, today's technology and, um, you know, stuff like that, I think that this is actually a film that could use a remake, um, and I don't say that too often, so, um, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to this, especially if they take it into more of a horror-type world, uh, you know, because after all, we are all horror fans here, so yeah, Spawn remake thing, I guess it's happening. Probably not for a little while, though. The X-Files creator, Chris Carter, talked about a potential third film, and he also talked about not ignoring the mythology um, that's set up throughout the series and the films. Um, I'm not very familiar with the X-Files series, although I do remember absolutely loving it as a kid. I just never really got a chance to revisit it. Um, so I really want to do that soon, though. So I I'll probably look forward to grabbing the seasons on DVD pretty soon. Uh, it always seemed like a very, very cool series to me. But anyway, he goes on to say that it's all up to 20th Century Fox if they do a third film. He thinks that everybody would be interested in a third film to get you know everybody back together uh, to do a third film would be a lot of fun. He also says that the colonization of the year, you know, December 22nd, 2012 was, I guess, a part of the story. I, like I said, I'm not familiar, but he said they would not ignore that. So, you know, anytime films don't ignore like continuity stuff, it, it definitely, um, you know, I, I love that. So that sounds like he's, you know, his heart's in the right place for a third film and his mind's in the right place for a third film. So all of you X-Files fans out there, you know, I bet you're hoping for a third film, probably. And, uh, you know, it's up to 20th Century Fox. It sounds like the Chris Carter would like to do it. So last week, we talked a bit about the upcoming Twilight Zone remake and how Joseph Kaczynski, director of Oblivion, is tapped to direct the upcoming Twilight Zone remake. Looks like we have even more momentum now because the writer has now been selected and his name is like Aaron, Eli... 
Kalite or something like that. I'm pretty bad with names and I'm bad with memory also. So it's somewhere around there. Uh, you can look at the article if you're interested. All I know is he did, he was, you know, involved in some TV show stuff like Heroes, which was a pretty cool show, and The River, which I have not seen. Um, like I said last week, this is a single story with uh, various elements from the you know Twilight Zone universe but it's not like an anthology it's just gonna be one single story which I find extremely weird and it just kinda bugs me right now um, it could be interesting if they do some like something that I don't know about but I, I just kind of always like the anthology format next up we have some casting news for Marlon Wayans upcoming spoof film A Haunted House 2 which is a sequel to his latest spoof film a Haunted House. Uh, the casting is Ashley Rickards, who was in American Horror Story, comedian Gabriel Iglesias, and Jamie Presley, who is known for being hot and from My Name is Earl, which is actually a funny show, unlike spoof films. I hate spoof films. It really hasn't been a funny one since, you know, Scary Movie 2, I guess. Um, you know, these things just give, give off a bad vibe with me, and I honestly wouldn't even be talking about it right now, Besides the fact that there's not a whole lot going on in the horror world, the horror news world, uh, you know, this week. So Haunted House 2, you know, I, I don't even really consider this, you know, horror. Um, but, you know, I know some people find these things funny. How, I don't know, but, you know, they do. NBC has announced that they're going to be doing a dark reimagining of The Wizard of Oz called Emerald City. They're going to be doing it with uh, Matthew Arnold, who's going to be writing and producing this series is supposed to be a dark, classic tale uh, in the vein of Game of Thrones. They're going to be, you know, drawing from the original source material with, uh, you know, the 13 books that were uh, published back in the, you know, early 1900s. Um, I've always kind of wanted to see a straight-up horror version of The Wizard of Oz. It just seems so perfect because it's already really dark. And uh, it just sucks that there's not really a you know, straight-up horror version out there, at least to my knowledge. Um, it, it just seems like the mythology is, is so perfect for it, and there's so much there. And, and just the things that I've thought of in my head you know, can be really, uh, you know, uh, dark and it just seems like somebody can create something super awesome uh, with the reimagining of the Wizard of Oz. Um, you know, I've heard somebody say this the other day and I've always thought this, just where in the hell does the red brick road lead to? In my head, it leads somewhere very nasty. So, um, you know, this could be cool. I doubt it'll be whatever, uh, you know, I've been wanting to see. Rat Pack Film Productions and XYZ Films have announced a new film called Stung. There is a cast and crew list below in the article. You can check that out. This is a horror comedy, giant killer wasps mutated, killing a bunch of humans. And uh, there's also a teaser promo below, too, that actually looks, you know, not too bad for the obvious use of CGI. Kind of took me back to a film, a uh, favorite film of mine called Mosquito from the year 1995, which I wish it would get a DVD release. Scorpion King 4 has finished principal photography on August 26th, so it's on its way. Which, I had no idea there was four Scorpion King films. <laughs> That, that just kind of surprised me, but um, what even surprised me more was some of the cast. Uh, I seen Rucker Howard there, but I mean, there's people like Hoist Gracie and uh, Roy Nelson and um, Antonio Bigfoot Silva, which is just weird to me. You know, I'm a big MMA fan, so just seeing all those MMA fighters in there is, is funny to me. And uh, yeah, Scorpion King 4, who would have known? Uh, did any of you guys know? There was an interview with Edgar Wright, the creator, I guess, of Shaun of the Dead, and he talked a bit about what his original idea for Shaun of the Dead 2 would have been uh, back when he wanted to make it. It involves an alternate reality and stuff. I'll, I'm not going to talk about it too much. I'll let you guys read the article below. It's, you know, a few paragraphs long. Uh, I really don't like Shaun of the Dead. In fact, I think it's the most overrated horror film ever made. So uh, I, I really don't even like talking about it too much. Lionsgate and Hulu are teaming up for a half hour web series called Deadbeat. Uh, there's going to be a 10 episode run initially and the series follows a gifted man who can uh, communicate with ghosts as he lives in New York and helps them with their unfinished business. 
um, this series is supposed to hit sometime next year. NBC has given the green light for a uh, TV series called Outbreak, which is, I guess, based on a 1995 film or something. And uh, this series is supposed to be, I think, kind of high budget and it's supposed to involve a group of characters as they're racing to try to stop a deadly virus before it becomes a global pandemic. Finally for the news this week guys, Universal's Dracula has been pushed back from a August 2014 release date to a October 3rd 2014 release date which you know really doesn't matter anyway because it's a year away um, I doubt anybody will notice um, and finally you guys can head over to dreadcentral.com I'll be sure to provide links where there's a bunch of new stills for Wolf Creek 2 and there is a official poster for Ginger Dead Man vs. Evil Bong, which is actually pretty funny looking, and I'm sure it's going to be, you know, one of Full Moon's better hits to come out lately. I mean, Ginger Dead Man, Evil Bong, versing each other, sounds kind of funny, right? Um, so yeah, that's it. We'll go ahead and move on to DVDs and Blu-rays. A while back, we learned that the UK was getting a pretty cool Blu-ray edition of The Wicker Man, the final cut, 40th anniversary edition, which was supposed to have like all the lost footage that was recently found. Well, I guess now the US is also getting a version of that. I'm not sure if it's an exact version or, or what's up. It's actually being released by a company I'm unfamiliar with that I actually I already forgot the name to. Anyway, it's being released September 27th, and you know, I guess that's good. So. Uh, we get to see all the uh, newly found footage stuff too. Anchor Bay UK has announced a brand new 35th anniversary edition Halloween still book. It looks like uh, all the special features are the same as the release that we're getting over here that is not a still book, but it looks like a digi book or something. So, um, you know. Yeah, Halloween, new 35th anniversary edition for everybody. Dream Factory has announced two more titles for 2014. First up, we have Night of the Demons, which is absolutely a fun film. I love watching it during Halloween. I usually watch it, uh, you know, every Halloween. It's just great times. Uh, we do know that that one's going to be a collector's edition, which is awesome. Can't wait to see the cover art on that. And then we have an announcement for another Kevin Tenney film called Witchboard, which I actually have not seen. So, you know, obviously looking forward to that one. And then we have the cover art for uh, Scream Factories Presents TV Terrors. Uh, this is supposed to be, you know, hopefully a volume one. It has the initiation of Sarah and um, Are You in the House Alone, something like that. These are both TV films, uh, you know, made for TV movies from the 70s um, that are going to be, you know, double packed on a uh, DVD. I really hope these sell well because then we get a volume two and, you know, they'll look for more of these, uh, you know, kind of. TV movies that have not been seen in a long time, um, and they, they'll put them on DVD and stuff, and, you know, it, it could be really cool, so definitely hoping these things sell well, and, you know, any weekly horror news is awesome when there is some Scream Factory announcements. And finally, for the DVD and Blu-ray news this week, we have Maniac Cop 2 and Maniac Cop 3 Badge of Silence. These films are both being released by Blue Underground on Blu-ray and DVD combo. Obviously, all new transfers. We have uh, new special features. Maniac Cop 3 is uncut, which I find pretty cool. Um, I'm pretty sure the DVD that I own is not uncut. Um, I probably won't upgrade for a little while, especially with all the Scream Factory stuff coming out. Uh, but I definitely really, really enjoy Maniac Cop 2. And, you know, I'm kind of interested to see what is uncut about... Uh, Maniac Cop 3. For trailers this week, first up we have a film called Proxy, which is going to be premiering at the Toronto International Film Festival. And uh, this one definitely looks weird and, and kind of just uh, unsettling. Um, stuff with babies and pregnancies and, you know, stuff like that kind of always gets under my skin anyway. So uh, this trailer definitely looks, you know, well made. And, uh, you know, the film looks very, very interesting to me. Uh, this one's definitely going to be on my radar. Next trailer we have is for a film called We Are What We Are. And this film looks very good, actually, you know, based on the trailer. Very dark, dreary, very, very rainy. The town is flooding right away in the trailer. Um, you know, almost a depressing vibe to a dark, kind of gothic-y. Um, there's a, it looks like there's a family who are, uh, cannibals who have a very traditional style to them where they, uh, 
you know, I'll sit around the fam dinner table and, you know, hold hands and stuff. And it looks like this uh, town is possibly starting to catch on to what this family is doing. There's missing posters, like, everywhere and stuff. Um, but very, very dark. And, uh, you know, I, I definitely recommend checking out this trailer. It looks pretty cool. Uh, the film, I believe, hits theaters September 27th. Next up is for a trailer called Butcher Boys. And this film doesn't look too good to me it starts off pretty well you know teenagers riding around doing some shit they probably shouldn't be doing uh, end up running into some people they probably shouldn't be running into some you know bad people who are kind of terrorizing them and like following them and you know chasing them or whatever um, and then it kind of just gets weird where there's a bunch of stuff that I can't really fit into the story that I got from the trailer and it just looks like there's a bunch of random things happening and possibly some cannibalism and weird stuff. I don't know. It doesn't really look that great to me. Finally, I'm going to leave you guys with a few things to check out in the description that honestly I just don't feel like watching. Uh, first up is Sharktopus vs. Mermantula. These are some clips, I guess. I'm uh, really not interested in, in watching these. Um, then we have the Wicker Man, the Final Cut trailer, which, you know, I've never seen the film. I'll get to it eventually. Um, and then finally, after that, there's a revised Carrie remake trailer, which, honestly, I really don't care for either. So those will be in the um, description, you know, kind of a negative way to end the video, huh? But, uh, you know, apologies. Anyway, you guys can check me out on my YouTube channel. Obviously, subscribe here if you're new here. Um, Horrorbid.com, you can find my uh, weekly horror news videos also. And TheDevilsEyes.com, you can see those there also. Um, so yeah, not a whole lot of news this week, guys. But, um, you know, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video anyways. And I'll see you guys next week.